This is Williamsburg, Virginia, United States of America, September 1966. These streets, these halls are quiet now. Nearly 200 years ago, voices rang out here to demand independence for a new country, dedicated to the right of all nations to decide their own destinies. Today, the town awaits a group of distinguished visitors from Burma, another country dedicated to national independence. The visitors, General Ney Nguyen, Chairman of the Revolutionary Council of the Union of Burma, Madam Ney Nguyen, and their official party. It is a quiet arrival in a town restored to its appearance 200 years ago. An atmosphere for reflection and thought. For there will be much to discuss in the coming days of the state visit. In the morning, there's a chance to visit scenes of early American history, a country which, like Burma, was once a colony. The quiet will not last for long, for the people of the United States are eager to greet the Burmese leader. For several days now, preparations for the special guests have been underway in Washington. In moments, the official welcome by President Johnson will begin, a prelude to the serious discussions to follow between the two heads of state. General, a full 21 gun salute. Excellency, Madam Nguyen, distinguished guests, Mr. Chairman, your views and your opinions are valued here, and I look forward with uh, anticipation the next two days to discussing many matters of interest and concern to uh, the people of the world, and particularly to our two countries. The world knows and appreciates Burma's dedication to peace and to the right of all nations to decide their own destiny. Mr. President, First of all, may I express to you and Mrs. Johnson and to the American people a heartfelt thanks for the warm welcome extended to me um, and my wife and the members of my party. I have looked forward to meeting you, Mr. President, and other American leaders because I'm convinced that such personal contacts will serve to create a better understanding and appreciation of each other and thereby enable us to to cooperate fruitfully in the common task of building a peaceful and prosperous world. After the salute, a full dress parade through the streets of Washington.
The general will stay at Blair House, official guest residence across the street from the White House. Here, he receives the key to the city, a long-standing American tradition of welcome. Without further ceremony, the serious work begins. A conference at the State Department, where the highest ranking United States officials reaffirm support for Burmese neutrality. Further talks with George W. Ball, acting Secretary of State with Averill Harriman, United States Ambassador at Large. For Madame Nguyen, there is time to visit the Catholic University School of Nursing, where she once studied. Bye. There is time for a tribute by the General to the tomb of America's unknown servicemen who died to help others live in peace. tribute to President John F. Kennedy. Yeah, they came out. At the White House, President Johnson awaits him for their first of two conferences. They exchange views on world issues and Burmese-American relations. The talks are cordial. Both leaders express mutual regard. The general comments, we have sought to build our relations with all other countries on the basis of mutual respect, of equality, of non-interference in each other's internal affairs. President Johnson adds, this ultimate goal is one we both can share. The talks take place near monuments to George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, reflecting the principles on which the United States was built, the right of any nation to independence without outside interference. In between the serious talks, time for receptions and visits to renew old friendships and make new ones. Farewell to President Johnson. General Ney Wynn comments. I need hardly say these talks have proved extremely useful. I shall go back to Burma with a better understanding of your great country and its people. In President Johnson's plane, General Ney Wynn flies to New York to visit the United Nations. En route, he continues his work. Burma's own Utant, Secretary General of the United Nations, greets him on arrival. As President Johnson has said, the Burmese consistent support of the United Nations demonstrates your country's dedication to peace and international order. The end of the official visit. A visit to promote international understanding in a changing world. An American welcome to the distinguished leader of the warm and friendly people of Burma.